When I started this YouTube channel, I told a friend of mine, she asked, what's the URL then I'll subscribe. I said, well, are you going to watch every single video on the channel? She said, no, but I want to support you. I said to her, if you want to support me, please then don't subscribe. Why did I say that? Also, why is it bad to ask for a subscribe in the comments or even worse, buy subscribers? What to focus on as a beginner and how can you rank videos? This is the YouTube algorithm explained for beginners. Hi, my name is Dexter Clark from the Netherlands and I've been on YouTube since 2010. Tip. I'll start with the core principles of YouTube because if you know those basic principles you'll understand why algorithms are built a certain way. What is the goal of YouTube? To sell ads. How can they make sure they sell more ads? By making sure that viewers watch more videos and stay on the platform longer. How can they make sure that viewers are staying longer on the platform? by making sure that viewers watch more videos and making sure that the viewer's experience is good. In basic, it all boils down to this. If you can make sure that viewers watch your videos longer than the competition, YouTube will promote the crap out of you. Is that hard? Yes. How does YouTube measure viewer satisfaction? First of all, by the raw watch time minutes. If a viewer watches five minutes of your video, you gain five minutes of watch time. If a viewer watches your video longer, that means that the viewer enjoys the content. Second of all, session watch time. Besides watch time, there's also such a thing as session watch time. Session watch time is the watch time you gain over multiple videos for one viewer. Session watch time is important because it makes the viewer stay longer on the platform. Then average percentage viewed. How much of your video is on average watched by viewers? If they watch only half of your video, you have an average percentage viewed of 50%. You might think that 50% is really bad. No, that is actually pretty good. Between 40 and 50, that's still really good. 30 and 40 is okay. Below 30% is bad. There is a healthy balance between average percentage viewed and the watch time minutes because YouTube wants to make sure that even short videos are promoted if viewers enjoy the video. For example, if a video is one minute long and has an average percentage viewed of 60%, that is not a lot of watch time minutes. When you have a 45 minute video with an average percentage viewed of 30%, that's pretty good. YouTube makes sure that both videos are promoted. Click through rate. How many people saw your title and thumbnail and clicked on your video? If a lot of people click on your thumbnail, YouTube will promote the video more. This is expressed in a percentage. That means that if 100 people saw your title and thumbnail and three people clicked on it, you have 3% click through rate. What is a good CTR? Well, <laughs> that depends on so many things. The size of your audience, the CTR of the competition, video topic, the chosen niche, the traffic sources, so many things. So it's an, uh, yeah, this kind of comparison when you compare two videos with each other. I made a video about the problems with comparing CTRs. The link is in the description. Why won't clickbait work? Well, you have a high click-through rate, but you have a low average percentage viewed. So YouTube will kill the video immediately. There are literally thousands of other factors into play, but these are the main ones you have to worry about as a YouTube creator because these weigh the heaviest. And besides that, nobody knows exactly what those factors are and what the ratio between those factors is. That's the secret of the YouTube chef. Let's talk about what happens when you release a video. Let's say that this is your video. When you release a video, YouTube starts to promote the video to your subscribers. This is the next ring. Those are your subs. When your subs react very well to the video, that means that the average view duration is high and your click-through rate is high, then it starts to promote the video to a bigger group of people. This is a very well-drawn person. When those people react very well, YouTube starts to promote it to a bigger group of people. When they react very well, YouTube starts to promote it to a bigger group of people. When they react very well, it starts to promote the video to a bigger group of people. You can see this really good in your YouTube analytics because every time this happens, you see your video spike. Like this video right here, which has obvious spikes and obvious dips. 
This is also what happens with a viral video. This happens so extremely quickly, but at a given moment, this will go down because the next group of people will not react very well. And then it goes down and it may even go down further and down further. And then your video is only promoted to this group of people. When you have a bigger channel, then this initial push is bigger. So for a small channel, your first push is in this circle over here. But when you have a large channel, maybe your initial push is directly over here. But this is also the reason why it is extremely important to be very clear to the YouTube algorithm what your video is about in your title, in your thumbnail, in your description, but also in the speech of your video, what your video is about. Because YouTube knows directly to what group of people it should promote because it registers exactly what people are interested in. So if you're not clear, you may have the promotion to this group of people, but if you're super clear, it can promote it directly to this group of people because YouTube has more data because it knows more about your video and the chances that people are watching the video are much higher. Now I've drawn this from the perspective of a creator that pushes out a video to viewers. Technically it's the other way around. It is from the perspective of a viewer. A viewer starts a viewing session and then YouTube goes and looks what a viewer might be interested in on YouTube. There are different algorithms on YouTube. There's home suggested, search, uh, speech algorithm. My advice is focus on YouTube search first. If you can find the right target keywords that are not too competitive, you have absolutely a shot to rank for that. For example, if you search on how to feed a dog, you will get crushed by the competition if you make a video about that. But if you search for how to feed a schnauzer vegetables, then you're way more specific and you have less competition. If you'd like to know more about keyword research, check out the video I did about the topic. The link is in the description. A lot of YouTube creators use keyword research tools like TubeBuddy, for example. I've used TubeBuddy over the last couple of years, but I can't say that I'm really impressed by the results that the tool gives you. For example, when I started this YouTube channel, I did keyword research for the phrase, how to start a YouTube channel for beginners. Remember, I had zero views, zero subscribers, and zero watch time minutes. The tool said that it was a great keyword to go after. Manual research, however, turned out that it was a terrible keyword to go after. Well, uh, my manual keyword research was absolutely right. And over the last few months, I've gathered example after example after example after example, after example in which TubeBuddy was absolutely extremely wrong. If you want to use the tool, use it for video ideas, not to do keyword research. Most YouTube creators are extremely focused on subscribers, subscribers, subscribers. Subscribers aren't that important. Subscribers are only used by YouTube for certain milestones, like with 30K subscribers, you get super chats. Only a small percentage of your total amount of views on a healthy channel will come from your subscribers. The rest is all YouTube search, YouTube home, and YouTube suggested. Far more important than subscribers are views. Far more important than views is watch time. Because watch time equals channel authority. This is the stuff that makes you rank. I will come back to that in a minute. And even more important than watch time is session watch time. As you might have noticed by now, everything is about watch time, watch time, watch time on YouTube. And even the graph that I showed you earlier says not views from subscribers, it says watch time from subscribers. You want only engaged subscribers, subscribers that watch your content. Because what I already explained earlier, if subscribers watch your content, YouTube will promote it to more people. If subscribers aren't interested, that means that it will hurt your promotion. This is why you don't want to ask for a subscribe in the comments. And this is also the reason why you don't want to buy subscribers. Let's talk about how to rank your videos. YouTube has literally millions of videos to choose from. Why should it pick yours? Well, give it a reason to. First of all, channel authority. Those are the gathered amount of watch time minutes on your channel with all your videos. This is one of the reasons that you want to have a lot of videos on your channel so they can be discovered and they can be viewed so you can gather watch time minutes. 
In other words, make sure that you have enough videos on your channel, 25, 50, preferably 100. Make sure to provide value in your videos. This makes people watch your videos longer and watch more of your videos. And try to have a high click-through rate with a proper title and a proper thumbnail. If you want to know how to make a proper title, click here. And if you want to make a proper thumbnail, click here. Subscribe if you like the content and want to see more.